I have a file here named last first 2500 square grid. And you see I've got a layer called color. And I get the direct selection tool and select the whole 2500 squares. And I think I'm going to put a background on this. And I think I want a sky. You can create whatever you want. Don't recreate what I'm doing. And I want a lighter color. So I'll click on the color, the fill color. That brings up the color picker. And wherever I move that, it will select that color. So I've got a lighter color that I like here. And you see that's on the color layer. You'll see that the grid layer is locked. The little lock on it. So I don't want to change that. Now underneath the direct selection tool, there's a lasso tool. And I can click with that. I'll collapse my layer palette so you can see. I'm going to draw a little something here and just click and drag in everywhere that this lasso tool encompasses. It will select those uh, squares that I've drawn. And so I'm drawing. See if you can figure out what I have here. And obviously that is, there we go. It's a dead on Godzilla. Looks exactly like Godzilla. And uh, maybe we want some details, so maybe it'll look a little more like Godzilla. So I'm going to add some uh, shadows and light and detail and color, some nostrils, some eyes, and just go to the swatches. And I'm picking colors I want. There's some darker area, maybe some white. Eh, maybe I don't want white. Maybe those should be a different color. How about orange? Yeah, that's more angry. And so reddish orange will be good. Now I'll maybe want to select just a one little square. And it'll be easier to do that with the direct selection or group selection tool. So I'll click on that one square. Now it's a lighter color, a little more focus. Now I'm going to hold shift while selecting multiple squares. And I'm going to put some of these fins that Godzilla has. Okay, and I'm just going to add a bunch of these fins. I'm using the group selection tool and just selecting multiple squares. I'm holding shift while I select them. Getting the eyedropper, the letter I will give you the eyedropper. That'll let me select a square and maybe choose other colors if I want to pick a color that's already existing. Get these fins in there, and I'm going to add a little bit of shadow, a little bit of darker color underneath so that we have a sense of light and shadow on the underneath side of the arms, on the underneath side of the mouth and, and the jaw. And then after that, I open that mouth up a little bit with some blue, give Godzilla some teeth, and maybe a little bit of light on the top so there's a lighter color. If you don't like what you selected, Command Z, Control Z, undo. And that's starting to get a little bit of detail. I'm liking that. And then just a, a hair more detail, maybe a little bit of a, a tummy patch of a different color. That's nice. A little more detail. And then I think after that I I'm getting pretty happy with Godzilla. Maybe some spiky claws. That's good. And now Godzilla needs to shoot some fire out of his mouth to destroy whatever lays in his wake. There's some nice flames. Maybe a little bit of variation on that flame. Get some, pick that gradient color. That's fun. And maybe a darker reddish orange there. So that's, that's looking pretty dangerous, but there's nothing to attack. So let's put a city in here. And again, you're not recreating the image I'm doing here. You're going to create your own scene or picture, whatever you want to create. Just color all these squares. A little water, some variation on the watercolor. A few clouds in the background, a little dark and light colors in the clouds. And that'll be fun. And then just a, a little bit of uh, maybe yellow to make these. It's a it's evening and there's the city's in flame, so we'll get some yellow orange clouds. And then last step here, I'm going to 
use the group selection tool, select a bunch of windows, and then turn on the lights, and then there we go. And then we'll save as and turn it into a PDF.